Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to get more fonts in Windows 10 and a little bit about managing them, uninstalling them, etc. So there's a couple ways to do it. You can do it on the internet or for those of you who don't mind using the Windows Store, you can go to Start, Settings, Personalization, and Fonts. Click Get More Fonts in the Microsoft Store. Here you can browse through, pick anything you want. We'll say Ink Draft. Click Get. You usually have to click Get twice. Sometimes click Install afterwards. I wish they had more fonts on here, but hopefully they will as time goes by. Yeah, there you go. There it comes. So it'll just tell you it's done. It'll give you a notification right here. Ink Draft font got installed. And you can close it. But again, as you can see, there's not a ton of choices here. So now that we have it, there it is right there. And that's another thing I wanted to mention to you. Once you have them installed, just scroll down here to look at any of your fonts and to preview them. It's, it's not the greatest, but you could change the font size. There you go. And, of course, you can uninstall it. Just click uninstall. It does it. It may not do it with yours. It just leaves you sitting here like, yeah, now what? Just click out, and as you can see, it's gone. So... Another thing you can do is download from third-party sites. A couple of these are pretty good. 1,001 fonts. They probably have over 1,000 now, right? Yeah, 1,204 pages. A little over 1,001 fonts. I think they've been around a long time. And the font. Another thing worth mentioning, older operating systems, Windows, give me a second here, 7, 8. Nobody's running Vista anymore out there, right? No, 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 no. Windows fonts right here. So you can actually drag and drop a font if you're in Windows 7, 8. Let's just skip this, all right? We'll, we'll agree to disagree. Another thing you can do is you can double-click any of these fonts at any time, and you can look at them. Pretty cool. You can do that with the fonts you download, too. So we're going to start with the font called Chasey. It's right here on the top. We just click Download. And all you want to be careful of, depending on the site you're on, most of them are pretty good. You know, they've got some ads running around, no big deal. But you want to make sure that you have the OTF. So we can extract that. Let's get it out of here so I can show you. Now that you have it extracted, again, you can just look at the font right here. You can click Install right here and be done with it. Or you can drag and drop it. Let me get back in there. There it is. So there's the font. Just click it right here and look for it to say Copy. And let go and there it is so once again pretty neat and while we're here and we're discussing it I just closed everything on me good job all right you can search through your fonts here and we showed you, you can check everything out right here so everything's pretty easy to use in Windows 10. So you got to go way down if you've got a lot of fonts where you can adjust your clear, cl clear type text. Best that you have it on. And let's move back up to the top. And really, that's pretty much got you covered. It's, you're like a font master now. Piece of cake. All your descriptions, everything else you need is here. But for the most part, oh, I like this too. You can type right here. And you can do a quick little preview depending on what you're writing, what you want to see. And you can see the different styles that are available right here. Regular, italic, bold italic. So let's do it again. That gives you a chance to take maybe certain words you want to use and get an idea how they look at a certain pixel size, which is the 24 points here. So a lot of times a lot of pixel size are popular way down around 12, 14 in your office apps, stuff like that. So now you can kind of see how it looks. There's a big difference to how clean it looks there and how bad it might look where you need it. So that's kind of handy as well. So there you have it. That's not just how to download fonts, but a little bit of how you can quickly, easily manage them all. Not too tough, right? You got it. So hey, down the bottom right corner, Major Geeks logo pops up. You click that. You can subscribe. We always appreciate that. And we very, very much appreciate you watching. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. See ya.